Hey, good morning. Welcome to Coral Gables Congregational United Church of Christ at the beginning of another new day. Yesterday, I shared with you that this week we are using the morning text and a song from the Taizai community, an ecumenical monastic village in the Burgundy region of France, where I had the opportunity to spend a week last summer with some of our senior high youth. Each morning while we were there, I like to think long before dawn, bells would begin to ring and the pilgrims would gather from within the village and from around the village into their worship space. During this time, the brothers would stroll in in their simple white robes and take their seats, often on their knees on the ground. As they gathered, uh, and they have already this morning, the passage that they heard came from Romans 15, where Paul writes, accept one another just as Christ has accepted you for the glory of God. Have you ever noticed how easy it is to accept your own personality and quirks and habits? <laughs> Comedian Meryl Marco once observed, it's just like magic. When you live by yourself, all of your annoying habits are gone. But then you get married or have a deep friendship or in go into a relationship or have a child and suddenly discover that others have annoying quirks and habits. But Paul tells us to warmly welcome and accept all, regardless of their quirkiness or those annoying habits or their irritating ways. And perhaps there isn't a better message for any of us, especially those of us still quarantined in the midst of this pandemic. The Taizai song for today is a very simple one, and Anthony will teach it to us. And I hope that you will hold it into your heart throughout this day and perhaps this week and in the weeks to come, and to call upon it when the need is there to accept others just as they are. to be 
peace in this world. There must be peace in the nations. And if there is to be peace in the nations, there must be peace in the cities. If there is to be peace in the cities, there must be peace between neighbors. If there is to be peace between neighbors, there must be peace in the home. And if there is peace in the home, there must be peace in the heart. Thank you, Brandon, Anthony, Elena, and to all of you, thank you for being with us. And as I send you off on this day, I hope that you will indeed live in charity and with steadfast love, and do so by taking care of yourself and each other. Be well and see you tomorrow.